My name is Mike Whittemore. I'm the stewardship manager for the Nature Conservancy. The Nature Conservancy on Martha's Vineyard owns a thousand acres, and we also have conservation easements on 560 acres. And we want to enable conservation on island for as many people as possible. Martha's Vineyard is one of the last strongholds for sand plain grasslands. Rare sand plain grasslands are largely treeless areas that grow in very harsh conditions close to the ocean that experience maritime conditions like salt spray and onshore winds. Sand plain grasslands exist in a really small range, relatively speaking. So they exist from Long Island all the way up to Maine, but within that range, they only exist in pockets today. Protecting sand plain grasslands is important because biodiversity loss is one of the existential threats that we face today. They typically have a really high diversity and concentration of rare and uncommon species. These species are just really decreasing throughout their range. It's just so important to maintain the populations that we do have left. My role at the Nature Conservancy as a stewardship manager is a really jack of all trades position. No two days are the same and, and that's one reason I love working here. Today we're going to be working with a whole bunch of volunteers from the island to plant butterfly weed. This is just a really good example of what TNC does on the island because it started from the ground up. We found a way to protect and secure the land in conservation and then we teamed up with scientists because we're a science-based organization to understand the best management practices for converting and expanding and creating more sand plain grasslands. Well we're working with Polyhill Arboretum who has the Martha's Vineyard Wild Type Program, and they're generous enough to grow us a thousand of these butterfly weed plugs, and we're gonna be planting those. The first phase is done, we just finished it this year. We planted all the plots of native warm season blue stem grass that was harvested on island. And then today, we're gonna to be starting the phase of planting wildflowers. It's not gonna look pretty for another couple of years. It's gonna take a couple of years to sort of take hold. They're gonna create more plants. They're gonna disperse seed. But really what's gonna bring this whole system where we want it is when we apply a, a prescribed fire in about two to three years. What you see out here is a lot of non-native cool season grasses left over from agriculture. Um, but what really you don't see is what's in the seed bed and that we've been planting from on island for years. When we hit it with fire, only the grasses and the diversity is gonna persist that's tolerant to fire. Those are the species that we want here. Native plant species that are adapted to fire. We really rely on volunteers, and volunteer work can range from administrative work to legal interest monitoring. You come monitor lands with us to monitoring some of our rare species, to some of the really fun stuff like harvesting and planting wildflowers in some of our ecological restoration areas. We couldn't do what we do out here and conserve this biodiversity and the rare sand plain grasslands without your support. My greatest hope for Martha's Vineyard is for more land to be protected. I also hope that conservation organizations, although we might have differing missions in some ways, come together more. I think that's the future, is really working together more to conserve the rare habitats on Martha's Vineyard.